and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the 1030 content. So, I'm going to be going over the 1030 content as well as recapping last night's NFL 100 cards. I know a lot of you guys are always asking me, can you rank the new cards? Can you go over the new cards? And I know I'm not there at night to make them for scheduling purposes, but I will be going over them at the end of this video. So, all you got to do is stay tuned for all that. I'm going to go over the Legends first, the two new Legends that they're dropping for Saturday, as well as the NFL 100 Legends. So, stay tuned for all that. Last week, they dropped some pretty big banger NFL Legends. They did drop a Mon Green. And Jesse Tuggle. Now, Jesse Tuggle, I didn't really care for, but Amon Green was a banger for all of about five minutes. And then they dropped Walter Payton and then Bo Jackson, which sucked because I was super hyped to have Amon Green. I really got to really enjoy him because uh, Madden really just dropped three straight running backs that all exceeded each other in talent. But at least we got this week's NFL Legends. Hopefully, they're cool. And we have the NFL 100 Legends. So we're going to have four quarterbacks go over and the two NFL Legends. So stay tuned for the whole thing. Now, guys, remember, it is the 25 days of Pood Miss. As per usual, all you guys got to do to enter is. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word and comment your console. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Now, the winner for yesterday was I Adaptive I. All you gotta do, Adaptive, is go over to Twitter, DM me directly, and we'll work out the reward. Now, we have three days left, so even if you don't respond, get to me within the next three days, I will still honor all the people who did win before actually the giveaway is ending. So, Adaptive, whenever you're ready, Twitter link should be down below in the description. Just go over to that, and we should be good to go. Now let's head over to Twitter to go check out the NFL, well, the regular Saturday Legends, and then we'll go over after that to go check out the NFL 100 Legends. We have is Dave Casper, tight end for the Oakland Raiders, guys. Now, if you played Madden for any time, any amount of time ever, Dave Casper has always been like an NFL, like one of those legends you always had every year. Like since Madden 13, Dave Casper was one of the ones who always black and white, older helmet. That's always one of the solid guys that have been like consistent throughout the years. Now he's got the hands archetype. He can be powered up because he's going to be part of the legend solo this morning. He's six foot four, so he's really tall. 85 speed, solid. 80 strength is good. 90 catching, solid. 92 catching traffic, solid. 90 spec catch, solid. 85 short route running, 86 medium route running, and 73 uh, run block. Now, otherwise, if Tony Gonzalez had ever come out, this card would look just fine. But Tony Gonzalez pre uh, precedes him or exceeds him in every stat: speed, catching, catching traffic, spec catch, route running. Like every stat that matters. Every stat that means about, about being a tight end, minus run block, but they're both bad at run block and it really doesn't matter. Dave Casper looks fine. Unless he has some really crazy off-ball stats, like, or back of card stats, like stiff arm or juke or something. I really don't see him being that great of a tight end. Now, Tony Gonzalez, I think, is going to be the best tight end for quite a while. It's going to be very hard to top that speed, catching, route running combo. The only way you're going to beat that is if you get a guy who's really similar with great run block. And that's pretty much the only way. But they never really give tight ends. They always do tight ends dirty when it comes to speed. And the next George Kittle card. The next George Kittle card might be the only thing that kind of like competes with him. But even that Kittle card won't catch or route run as well as the Gonzalez did. So it's still going to be tough no matter what. Now let's get over to the next legend, which we got Charles Tillman. Peanut Tillman back in the game. Now, if you remember, he did have a theme timing, a theme diamond card. So remember, this card can be powered up with the theme diamond. So... You have to get that card first, but he should be pretty cheap considering the theme diamonds are sold at this point. Now, that Peanut Tillman was pretty good. Let's see what his stats looking like. He's 6'2", 92 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility, 92 jumping, 91 play rec, 89 man, 91 zone, 87 press. Now, here's the thing. For his overall, I feel like these cards are kind of underwhelming. Like, right now, like, Deion Sanders stats look a lot better than that, at, at, you know, at cornerback for a 94 overall. Now, if you powered and chemed him up, he would have, a, like, a 92 man, a 93 zone, a 90 press, a 93 jumping, 92 play rec, nine, probably like a 93, 94 speed. Don't get me wrong, this card's solid all around. He's very solid. But with new cards coming out, I expect a little bit better. I probably would prefer that his press and man were almost there already to 90, and then you could just increase it more. Now, his speed's fine. His speed's honestly really good because powered up in the shake or whatever, he can get it to like a 94 speed. So he's going to be fast enough, but I feel like his stats going to be like just average. Like he's not, he's nothing special, is what I'm saying. If you, have a, if you have a tendency, like you like the Bears or you're a big fan of Charles Tillman, go ahead and get him. But in my personal opinion, he doesn't stand out. Like when Bo Jack came out, he was the fastest guy in the game. Like you had to get him. Well, fastest running back in the game. Charles Tillman doesn't stand out enough to me to where I like I have to go get him. But if you guys have any kind of like bias towards him and you want him, go ahead and get him. Now we're gonna head on over to the Madden screen. And we're gonna go check out the NFL 100 cards. For so a lot of you guys are asking me to go over the NFL 100 cards, which I was probably gonna do anyways. And you said to rank them. So I'm gonna rank them a little bit for you because I know a lot of you guys are. If you guys want any of these quarterbacks, I've been looking for a new quarterback. I know you guys are probably gonna want this. So starting off with Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning 95 overall. For the Indianapolis Colts, you guys should already know this. Now, remember, these quarterbacks do start with their NFL 100 ability activated. And I know Peyton Manning's is super cool. It's called Omaha. And when he has his activated, he's able to see all the defensive play coverage. 
So he's able to see all the defensive secondary. So you can see like if you're putting them in a cover three, cover two, which is super glitchy. If you know how to read a zone and you have a good offensive line, you, you keep yourself from getting sacked. Guys, this can be super glitchy. This can be one of the best X factors in the game. Because if you can just see what they're doing, so you're like, oh, they're doing that. Okay, cover three beater. Oh, you're switching to cover to cover two beater. You could be so glitchy with this, just letting you guys know that if you're really good at that. So if you're a guy that likes to pass a lot and you can dot people up, this is definitely a quarterback for you. 67 speed, though, not a runner. 91 throw power is super low, and that kind of is what obsessed me about this card. Because, like, well, if you want a pocket pass, you want a guy who can really throw the rock, and Lamar can throw almost as well as him. 95 throw short is really good. 94 throw mid is really good. 91 throw deep, again, a little bit low. 93 throw under pressure, 81 throw on the run, and 96 play action. Here's the thing. When I think of a pocket passer for me, I want a guy that can make every throw on the field phenomenally if he can't run. Now, if Lamar can get it to like 90 throw throwing stats with the 94 speed, it really makes me wonder like Peyton Manning, I would need him to have like 96 stats across the board where he can get up to like a 99 passing for me to actually consider even changing. Peyton Manning's pretty good. Not my favorite choice so far, but again, we've only went over once. We still have time. I'm not even going to click on that because it's going to click me off in about a second. John Elway, 78 speed, kind of upsetting. I really thought that John Elway would get a skate artist, which would have really made him a very interesting quarterback. Next word for today is Grinch. I've been using Grinch a lot. That was an older clip, but I actually like the word Grinch, and it's just funny to see it pop up a bunch of times. But all you guys got to do to enter, as per usual, is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the word Grinch, which is the secret word, and your console. Once you know, let's see you enter to win, guys. And as you guys know, there's only three days left, so get in the last three days that you can. Hopefully, you guys can win. And I did announce the winner earlier in this video, so make sure that I forgot the name already, but go over to Twitter, DM me directly on there. And once you do all those things, I will get back to you. Remember, even if I don't get back to you before the giveaways are over, you're still qualified to win all those giveaways. I'm still going to give it to you guys, pretty much what I'm trying to say. So that's it. Enjoy the rest of the video. 95 throw power is amazing. Powered up and chemmed up, which he can be, is going to be a 99 throw power. Throw short, 90, throw mid, 90, throw deep, 90. Now, here's the thing. He has the passing stats of a of a mid-range mobile quarterback. 91 throw under pressure, 94 throw under run, 93 play action. That's kind of like what a Steve Young would have, except he doesn't get a skate bar. So I think I'm out on Elway. He like wants to be a mobile quarterback that can't get a skate bar. And imagine 20, if you don't have a skate bar, you can't be a mobile quarterback. It doesn't work. As well as wanting to be a pocket passer, but he can barely pass better than Lamar Jackson. So his throw power is kind of a saving grace. In my opinion, if you look at him, just to compare him to Vic real quick, you can see pretty clearly here that compared to Vic, He's not much better. He has one plus short accuracy, four plus medium accuracy, same deep accuracy, one less throw under pressure, less throw on the run. Play action doesn't matter. And then throw power, Vix better, and speed, Vix better by 15. I, I'm just telling you guys, John Elway seems like he wants to be two things and he's neither. Now, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, let's see what he's got. Six foot four, 62 speed. Obviously, Tom Brady's not going to be running on you. 92 throw power, again, kind of low. I understand the grandpa's at this point, but kind of low. Again, if you're gonna have a pocket pass, I want to be able to sit there and just throw the rock wherever I want. I want to be able to, I want to be able to feel so loose with the ball when I'm passing, but they don't make you feel like that. 97 throw short, amazing. But throwing short in this game, a lot of people can throw short. I've really never noticed it too much when you're a bad throw short. Throw mid, 94, that's solid. I like that. Throw deep, too low. Again, I can't really. So pretty much, we were telling me I can only throw mid and throw short. Lamar and Vic can throw mid and throw short. My issue with them is always throwing deep. But now Vic doesn't have that issue. That was Lamar's issue. Throwing pressure, 90s okay. Throwing the run, I could care less about. He's not running in 94, 94 play action care less about now for the final quarterback we do have joe montana which is actually one of the interesting ones let's see what his stats are looking like so he's got 75 speed which again doesn't matter 90 throw power a little low again john always the only one with a good throw power throw 94 throw short 94 throw mid 93 throw deep so the, the stats are solid powered up and kendo he's gonna get to like a 96 97 across the board throw under pressure he's gonna get to like a 99 throw on the run's gonna be above a 90 and plaque's gonna be like a 95 this card is probably the most well-rounded of the th of the four he can do almost everything and even with a little bit of speed but again not a fan the throw power the throw power so in my personal opinion guys if you want to be honest with you i personally wouldn't use any of these quarterbacks i'd rather have michael vick i'd rather have lamar jacks if you have to pick them i'm gonna rank them worse than i'm putting elway i think i'm putting elway last he has the throw power but his throwing stats are a little too low for my like i don't really like elway second to last i'm probably gonna put brady brady's great and all but I mean, I don't know. Brady's solid. Oh, wait, let me rethink that one. I think Elway's last because he just barely hits all the 90 thresholds. Joe Montana is the most well-rounded. So I'm going to put Joe Montana at two. I'm going to put Brady at three. Brady's great and all, but the throw deep and the throw power is a little too noodle arm for me. Joe Montana's so well-rounded, though. He can do everything and even throw deep a lot better and throw power. Throw power's a little bit low, but throwing a pressure solid. And I'm going to put Peyton Manning at number one, and that's only because of his NFL 100 X Factor, which does allow him to see all the defensive play coverages. So that pretty much wraps up the NFL 100 cards. Omaha has a solid NFL 100 uh, auto ability, so that's the only reason I'm putting him first. You should definitely try that out. 
guys it is better for the video thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys see this by about like 10 35 and if you want to enter those 25 days of Pudmas, as per usual, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word, and your console. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Good luck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, enjoy the rest of the day and the other videos coming out today. Stay tuned for all those. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.